for exchange international. Greetings, Rodney Huss here at Keyboard Exchange with my father Jim, and we're really excited to show you this new finish that we just got back from our finisher. It's a black stain and we're uh, just doing our normal uh, durable clear over top of that. We're calling this, what did we decide we're gonna call this? Well, Java Ebony possibly? Java Ebony, I like that. That was your idea. I thought that was pretty cool, you know, because when you look at the finish closely and, and, and Bill on camera, if, after we finish discussing this, if you can come in and do some close-ups and get it from several angles, because this angle I'm looking at from, you can still see like a coffee color underneath the ebony stain. Yeah, absolutely. It, you know, there was some discussion, we were going to call it mocha ebony or java ebony, and uh, either way, it's, it's really something new we've never done before, exactly. like this. You can appreciate the grain, and you know, I have to say, this is one of your best ideas, Rodney. Well, thank you. Yeah, yeah. the grain, seeing the grain was, was a big part of it. So. We're excited to see what everybody thinks out there. We just got it back from the finisher. We're going to load it up with parts pretty soon. This is going to be one of our next projects. So keep looking out, and we're excited to hear how it sounds. And I know it's going to sound as good as it looks. Yeah, and we should also mention it is a Hammond C3. Oh, yes. Yeah, so it's got the solid back with that beautiful mocha java finish on the back, the sides, the bench, the matching bench. It's all going to be something very special and then the leslie could be the same as this or it might just be a solid black we're not sure yet depends on which uh, leslie is available at the time but uh and we should also mention that we're going to have several b3s finished in ebony maybe they'll be java ebony maybe they'll just be you know regular ebony we're not totally sure yet but they're in the works they're in the queue so to speak they're in the list of things that are going to go to the refinishing shop so i recommend that people put an advanced deposit you know a pre-order on something this one you, that you can see and, a, and if you prefer a b3 the, this is going to be a little less than a b3 uh, but if you have a b3 in your heart and mind that you've always wanted now's the time to pre-order if ebony or java ebony might stir your imagination and then just count on us to make sure it sounds great and of course after you put a deposit on it we'll put this in the the, the lineup for uh, completing of the restoration and before you make your final decision uh, you'll hear it being played and you can come and play it or you can go by the video and if you decide that's not the perfect instrument for you you can transfer that deposit to something else so hey it's all good we thank you for your time and attention unless Rodney you have something else to add we do have a new refinisher we're working with this is with our old refinisher I grew up refinishing in this business years ago um, I'm not doing that anymore but um, this other refinisher along with our original they give us a multitude of different options different colors so if there's a color that you want that we're not offering us that we haven't offered uh, let us know and we can actually do that for you oh yeah we recently sold that what we called blonde but someone else called it butterscotch yeah. that sold like in a week yeah but that was a great sounding and very you know even though the blonde is a possible option if it's pre-ordered so yeah if you want to match up to your pews or your church or even your home uh, that's something we can offer now. Yeah, we can offer all this custom work now because we're working with two really high quality refinishing companies here in Orlando. So it opens up a lot of doors, a lot of possibilities and potential. Well, let's uh, let's get out of the picture here, Rodney, and let Bill do some close-ups. And Bill, while you're at it, just show some of these B3s in waiting here that are covered up by plastic. They're just ready to go into the electronic shop. Thanks, Bill. Thanks, folks.
Thanks for watching our video and thank you also for uh, helping keep the Hammond Tone Wheel B3 organ alive. We couldn't do all this work that we do here without you. And it would also help greatly if you could subscribe, like, uh, ask for notifications for when we have new videos. That would be a big help for us. So we thank you once again. I'm signing off for now, but we will be back.